আসসালামু আলাইকুম রহমতুল্লাহ সমস্ত ভাই বোনেরা আপনাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আবার আসলে টাইম ইজ গোইং ভেরি ফাস্ট আই গো লট অফ থিং টু আস অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইব্রাহিম আই আস্কড ইউ বিফোর অ্যাকচুয়ালি ডিফিকাল্টিজ বাট ইউ হ্যাভ অ্যাকচুয়ালি অ্যাচিভ লট অফ ইউ নো মাশাআল্লাহ বিগ বিগ অ্যাওয়ার্ডস ইন দা ওমেন টেল মি अबाउट দ্যাট আই হ্যাভ ওয়ান এনি অ্যাওয়ার্ডস আই নো ইউ বিন শর্টলিস্টেড ফর বিগ বিগ স্টাফ ইজ বিং শর্টলিস্টেড বাই দোজ স্টাফ ইজ ইটস ইজ অ্যামেজিং ইয়া নো আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আই মিন ইট স্টার্টেড ফ্রম 2015 um the limelight film awards uh, when i was shortlisted for my short film ramadan round up 4 so again you know going back to ramadan um that was because i'm into film making as well and uh, i managed to make a um a short video about my experience of ramadan but put a humorous uh, twist to it as well so um you know we had lots of different people from cambridge involved and uh, we also had nadia ali um bbc asian network Uh, oh, presenter sure. involved as well so that was quite interesting so it was just to hear about how people d- do ramadan uh, have you worked with nadia ali yourself yeah no we actually worked together um i helped out as an assistant producer i was gaining work experience on her show this was back uh, about uh, two years ago now uh, 2014 uh, just over two years now so that was a good experience just seeing behind the scenes how a show works and uh, you know how they uh, did she, did bring she it together did she, did she make anything for you Did she make it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 not quite like that. But okay. it was a good experience just to see how it worked and uh, you know how they bring the show together. And, and I was working quite closely with the producer as well. So I, I'm grateful I was given the opportunity to um, to be part of that for a few weeks. Fantastic. Is there any uh, uh, awards coming towards your side? Um, so yeah. So after the Lamlat Film Awards, so um, we had um, what came? There was the Asian Media Awards, which I think I, I feel it was, was my best achievement so far because. Um, you know that was quite prestigious in the sense that there were lots of um other mainstream um pr- uh media people in those categories so I was shortlisted for the regional journalist of the year award so that wow. was for my work uh, with um BBC Radio Cambridgeshire uh, Cambridge 105 radio uh, they're a station they're based in Cambridge community station uh, I used to present uh, a sports show for them every saturday so that was good experience that was my first experience of doing any kind of presenting there and that was that was quite fun and that that's what led over to doing the youth show on uh, LB24 as well So yeah it's just been nice to be able to do lots of different things and uh, and get, gain different skills. Amazing. Um but then after that um last year I was nominated for the um the British Muslim Awards for the uh, services to media category. Uh, again there were some other mainstream people in, involved in that category so I thought wow just to even been on that list was uh, amazing in itself so but I, you know I I knew I knew I wouldn't have a chance but uh, alhamdulillah you know again this year I've been nominated for a different category. it's the uh, services to creativity and technology so um there's 10 wow, other candidates that including myself that that's taking place in Leicester uh, next week at the Athena uh, i think it used to be an old cinema uh, if i remember correctly so uh, it's supposed to be quite a nice hall working forward to go and fantastic inshallah um so therefore um writing this kind of stuff it takes a lot of time um i'm looking to one here actually um ikhlaq al home is something you know special to us um I'm sure um Abaye your husband I'm sure he put a lot of um uh, time behind it I'm sure he's well helping other stuff around their home how was his reaction or how did he help Um you are lucky I'm yes. honestly you're lucky yes. you are he supported by your son He gave me the time to son. write I think it took me 2 years to write it but I wrote around my family commitments and there were days when I just couldn't write you had writer's block this is what it's called you you couldn't think what to write and there were other days where i used to write a lot i used to write late into the night so uh, my sleep time was eaten away um but it wasn't an easy book to write so just because you write a book doesn't mean that um it's going to get picked up and, and published and i had to rewrite certain sections so you have one two three drafts you can even go into four um and mine did go into the fourth draft and then i decided i have to draw the line i've got to stop now because you can just go on forever somebody will say right um this is this part isn't good rewrite that bit some publisher might say that and then you can spend uh, all your time just on based on other people's criticism just trying to uh, change your work but it only just takes that one person just to say yes which happened to me so 2011 uh, i was offered a contract uh, to get that published uh, and then my life changed basically um my book came out uh, the year after um but i wrote to dozens and dozens of publishers and any writer will tell you the same thing it it's 
you will get rejections, even the top uh, authors. Such so as how do you do your cookings yeah. and everything else and um, shopping and do you um, drive? And I do. I'm sure you <laughs> put a lot of pressure school. on to buy some, yes? yes? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it, again, it's about time management. What can't you do? You know, you, you've got to manage your time properly. Yeah, there are, there are days when you feel stressed and everything's like mounting on top of you and you, you can't cope. But I think it's, it's working together as a team, you know, even getting my children to do their little bit as well because I can't expect to be superwoman do absolutely everything you know we all need to sort of help each other so we're able to achieve our own goals and, and I think that's a really important family uh, unit I think you know to help each other support each other and not just expect one person to do everything we all need to sort of chip in and uh, help each other without do you um, do you yeah. read books with your children I did do, but they were little. I okay, don't anymore because good. they you know can read themselves. You know what? This is something themselves. missing in our community. Yeah. I think we are struggling with our kids. Yeah. We don't have a good communication anymore. Um, there's big generational gap. Mm. So honestly, our young people, third generation, they don't speak good Bangla at all. They mm. can say, okay, uh, buchi, 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 but actually they don't mm. understand all the words we say. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we simply think, why not? Well, if you can speak English in the uh, last 20 years, you haven't learned anything. How can that young man... Only you know five six years old can learn Bangla in that in, in that manner. We have to be very fair with them. Mm -hmm. Just because he's Bangladeshi doesn't mean he can learn Bangla. You didn't learn English in the last twenty years or thirty forty years. You don't even you can't even speak anymore. So we have to be very fair with them. So when that clash happens, I think it is difficult. Like in my home, I I wanted to teach them Bangla, but I can't help. I speak in English. It's easier to deal with that. I think so it, do it's do different, isn't it? The way that they learn or a school. Your children go from a young age, they learn the language, they learn to read, they learn to write. But with Bangla, I think it's the dialogue, what the children hear at home when their parents are talking. That's the only way they're going to pick up the language. I mean, I, I was born here, uh, in, I was born in Cambridge, I grew up in uh, Cambridge, but we learned to speak uh, uh, Bangla. You know, we all did, you know, all our, our siblings. So, uh, but I think in this day and age, it, the society is changing, the learning is changing. And, when you're talking about do parents read with their children, um, primary school children do bring home books um, to read, but then it's really up to the parents to take note of um, getting that book out and reading with the child because that's quality time. It's you difficult as well because like first yeah. generation, second generation, we don't read English that good. It's difficult, no, I, isn't I, I it? I totally playing agree. With yes, them is difficult. yes, I think that, that is a But barrier. you can't play a role. If you can't even read, you can play with them and say, if you, you read, I hear it, you explain to me. You, we need to yeah. find a way yeah. so yeah. we can connect with them. Um, can I ask you something about your, I'm sure you're proud of your mother and I'm sure you're definitely proud of your father as well. Mm. Mashallah, they, you know, they put effort together. That's where, that's where you are. You know, you're a young man and Alhamdulillah achieved so much stuff, honestly. Mm. Of course, you played a role as well, definitely. But they, if you didn't have those support, look, some home, uh, I don't want you to do this kind of stuff. It's rubbish. Go and work. I don't want anything else. Mother will say, forget it. But alhamdulillah, you got that support. It's so important, and uh, mashallah, you're achieving it now. Yeah. So tell me something about your dad. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I mean, he he just works hard, really, and uh, I think yeah, that's a, I think that's a, a one thing that perhaps we, uh, maybe we don't talk about as much, you know, because um, it's always been about what you do. We, like my mum, for example, and but um, you know, he he's working hard as a as a private hire driver, yeah. and um, you know, he, working hard even late at night. So. In, you know, in the time when we might be sleeping, you know, he's still, um, you know, still got a very important role to play, and that's something that, you know, maybe in the future for me, that would be important for me to learn from as well. You know, being a, a young man as well, so, you know, it's it's a very difficult role. I think even I'm sure you'd understand as a father yourself. So, you know, it's it's difficult when you when you have to bring up children as well, and you got to teach them. Uh, do you play the football together? Well. Do you guys play? S do you guys support the same team or no? I think, you and your dad. I think he supports the same team as me. Yeah, he's. A, I think he's a Liverpool supporter oh like no, me. Um, that's mainly because that. we got them to watch it on the TV with us. We were watching the game yesterday, actually. So trying to explain to him. Lucky about some we of the won players. yesterday. Well, luckily, isn't it? Yeah, that was a, it was quite a lucky win. But uh, fourth round is uh, is good. So hopefully build on that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> do you think, um, just as a young person, I'm asking you. Um, I'm not young anymore. Do you think <laughs> when we speak Bangla in home? As a young, did you really understood what we were talking? Uh, as a young, if they, your mum and dad talking, and something, did you understood what they're talking about? Or you went for your local mosque, then you khutbah in Bangla. Okay, that would be a good example. Do you understand the whole khutbah? I'd say I 
Actually, I think at home I understood the dialogue better than maybe what was being said in a, in a khutbah. Because I think when you're at home, you know, listening to everyday language, you pick up these words, you understand the conversation, the dynamics and how it all works out. But when you're going to other places where maybe if it's being used in a professional context, they might use other terminology which you might not be familiar with. Um, you know, I, I was quite grateful in the sense that my mum and dad, they helped me to read and write a bit of Bengali. I, I was able to do it for GCSE oh, as well. I didn't do very well at it, but, you know, I tried it and, um, you know, I got GCSE at the end of it. But, but, you know, at least I feel that I can read a little bit and, uh, you know, I'm able to have a conversation with my dad as well. Um, so, and be able to speak to him in Bengali as well. Um, so, you know, I think um, that's quite important because, you know, English obviously isn't his strongest language. You know, he came here in 1991 to the UK. So, you know, being able to communicate is very I'm sure important. he's very, very, very proud of you, my friend. And, and also, you, ac you know, sure. like you're acknowledging his effort behind, you know, like doing work at night and other stuff. Yeah, and mashallah. It's, uh, it's amazing. But it's only a beginning. You know, like it's only a big journey. It's just beginning. You haven't been the married and this and that, it's, it's so much stuff. He's got a lot to do. <laughs> he hasn't done anything yet, you know, he's yeah, probably so easy. Uh, Shaida, if I can ask you something, mm. um, I really want to uh, personally ask you this. We are struggling with our kids. That's open secret now. We don't, our kids don't understand us, we don't understand them. And um, we don't speak their language, they don't speak our language. Even the food is different now. My kids, they're like, fish, chips, English foods. I, I like shutki, guafan. <laughs> I think totally we're the different. same in our family. <laughs> it is different, isn't it? So yeah. I can't complain. No. I miss the balafai. We need to add respect that. This is their home. They've grown up here. That's their country, actually. And I'm just going to say, it's not going to work. I think we are forcing. Like, if he says to me, uh, <laughs> so it's gonna be it's a clash is already there yeah the, the times are changing you know okay, so I, I think we get another yeah. call can i take the call yes okay. hello call assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh you have to go to the house i'm going to the television of what to come live after you hook up please after you get to say that जी अपने खो का अपने रोशन ने खोई बनी किताब खोता खोता तो याद ना रही है ना क्या सुन ये हम का जो खोता ना गुरु बोली सुन बा कुनो एक जा यो नहीं तरह एक तो गुरु बोले बोले दिन बात की बा आ जो दिन सोम बाला सोम तक है तो ना मत फोटा फार बा सोसाइटी और जिन हिसाब का सही था दफना दस फोन पर जी अच्छा थैंक यू आपने फोन खुरिया निभा गया आपना थैंक यू फोन वाला की आसुले आपने कुछ सुन दो खता कोई सुना सुलो उन्हें खेल कम्पटम खुराना करो बुरी रहा आते दे नी टू कोवा एंड लर्न एंड एंड डू स्टफ सो दस दस टाइम एमेजिंग दस बाबी को इब्राहिम एंड हिज मदर हियर मशहूर दे एमेजिंग थिंग so I was saying, Amra, Ashole, Onekhamono Hori, Bangladesh is a style of printing course. It is a good thing. Ashole, basta, we should not do that. Ashole, it is a logo that Allah has said. You can't do it, and it doesn't work. And like Amra, Onek youngsters that are saying, "Salam, I have nothing to." Onek has no story. Kichu Quran na, because we are not dealing with them properly. Amra, but chintul ko boya khay na ya khon. Amra, but chint, I mean, hamota khle, but chintu mota khay. I mean, gorai le thara school ta khay. These are big issues around. We need to work it out. I've not monochrony is I'm I mean is a printing course course and I should run them as well. Okay. And it changed my life. Mm. My big son when he was twenty, nineteen actually, two years ago. That's when I became his best friend. Just with the one thing. So I went for a course and they said you have to have a special time with your son. Mm. You got two hours. And that time So you become learning and he becomes a teacher or style of like so I, I said to my son the um, we're gonna go out we're gonna have food together your choice your food your choice of place and i'm gonna be you know going there and we're um, see first time i'm taking him out he went out together but not in that level so when i went there and we had food together and i said do you really feel i asked him do you feel i'm a good parent do you feel i'm a good father open and say it to and from that day actually we become best friends honestly He's 21 now. I can we can sleep in the same bed. Abu Abu Amir Amir, come. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay fine. So because I break that ice down, so he knows where I'm coming from. I said, look, I'm trying my best to give you a solution. This is I'm not the best. What can I do? 
সো আপনি মনে করেন নি যে আমরা আসলে ইগুলার প্রিন্টিং কোর্স করা লাগে করলে ভালো হইব অথবা করলে ভালো হইব আই থিঙ্ক বিকজ ওকে আই ডিডেন্ট ডু প্যারেন্টিং কোর্স অ্যান্ড We all learn to become a parent. We're not taught it from the beginning, and, it, and you learn as you go along. But I think um, it, it, with every family there are challenges, and even with my own four children, they're not all the same. They have their different likes, and they have their different interests, and that sort of thing. Um, but I think it's with society change, or short from all, um, everything's changing. We've got technologies taking over now. I think. If the parents aren't engaged with the children, children will turn to technology to find comfort there. This is where, um, you know, things happen. Um, you know, it's, we need to keep an eye on children. And when you're saying a parenting course, it's very important for the parents to develop a friendship with the children. You can have a, a laugh, you can have a joke, you know. There's no harm in that. If a child can't joke with you or you can't joke with them, then You know, where is the, the, the love in that? You know, I it, know it, my it young son is 14 now, actually. Yeah. So even now he will say, Abba, 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 please defy it. And I say, <laughs> okay, go roti kase, bara ya khoi na, manche mulo, yeah. Robin, yeah. some fish That is it. true. I mean, if you can develop a good friendship with your children, then they will, if they have any issues, come to you and be able to tell you in confidence and comfortably, you know, I've, I've got a problem, you know, can you help me with this? If you're always forcing your opinion on your child and if you're always telling them to respect you, You respect is about giving respect so you get respect. You, you don't force respect on, on, on somebody. And I think, you know, especially with children, they, they copy their parents, they imitate their parents as they're growing up. And uh, that's why some children do become rebellious because if you're too hard on them and you just tell them to do everything that you want them to do. You know, uh, our time when we were growing up is not the same as their time now. You, you need to uh, consider that. And I think because I, I was born here, and he was born here. You know, we can share mm. lots of different, you know, we talk about 80s music, that sort of thing. And, you know, we can, I can talk about my time when I was growing up, because I went to the same secondary school as, they, they mm. went to the same secondary school as is me. So we can talk about it. Is it the same teachers? Not quite. Well, when <laughs> I was there, some of them were still yeah. there, yeah. But, yeah, but it's but nice so. to be able to talk about that. They enjoy listening to, you know, when we were growing up. And I think um, that's really important to develop that, that relationship. And if you're always strict and you're always hard, and you're always shouting at your children, they, they won't listen, they, they will carry on. I remember in, in, in our team when we were learning actually, those two cases happened. One person was, as I mentioned, I know I've not said, he became a, a, a abusive. Mm. And uh, you know, he was in the He's 14 years old with the Khuida Ikhtar. Imagine mm. how what happened. So he came to the training with me as well. So let's learn how to deal with these kind of issues. So I met him there after one day for the first time. So I said, "Ask him what the boy after the cellar was talking about." So then Khuida asked him, "Amra, idor din, amra, amar cellar, amre khloge khaisi, durbar goru isena." Or amar cellar, he texted me, "Abba happy Eid," or Eid Mubarak, something like that. Table, and he was so happy. Can you imagine? He was so happy. I remember another case was. Uh, we went for um, our teacher who was a special time. So that person, another person, he took his son for a special time. Now, about the salary who is a Jetman Zetabal Lagaska Bahau, a body horse and a bay hole that take Motokurami, a my baby, a balasini, a Tumakun was with on me, a Balukulyama to him. But it takes consumer ten horse in Nagi, a small bang your horse in the new for Handar and Bokhose. Young boys start crying and saying about. আমি একটা বাদ খাম করে গেছি বলে কি তা করছে বলে আমি ফয়লা আসলে আমি একবার টেস্টে দ্য ড্রাগস বাফে খরসুন কি তা আপনার হি নিউ ওয়াট টু ডু বিকজ হি ওয়াজ বিন ট্রেন হি সেড যেটা করছো করে দিছো নাও তুমি আমি মিলিয়া লেস কাম আউট অফ ইট দ্য বয় ফ্রম দ্য ডে হি সেড হি লেফট ইট হি ট্রাস্টেড হিম বাফে কোশ্চেন না ফ্রম দ্যাট ডে আমার লড় রেসপেক্ট গেছে ফুয়া লাগে হি সার ইন মাই ফেস বলে আব্বাই মোর খোলি লিসি বিকজ হি নিউ আমি তারিখে লাইফ নাই মারতাম না এটা করতাম নাই আপনি কিছু করার মতো নাই আসল ওয়া ক্যান ইউ ডু কেন লাউ সিল্লা কিছু করার নাই ইউ ক্যান ডু নাথিং সো লেটস নট গো ইন দ্যাট লাইন সো ফ্রম দ্যাট ডে দে বিকেম এ অ্যামেজিং ফ্রেন্ড সো আমরা আসলে ওই জিনিস কুলা উই নো ইনভেস্টিং আওয়ার টাইম ও মানি ইন আওয়ার কিডস ইফ ইউর ফ্যামিলি ইজ নট হ্যাপি ইউ গোটা ওই সুন্দর না রাখা যায় ইনভেস্ট করার না ওয়ান এনি your life would be hell man it's just the beginning imagine sure. when you're old if you're very very important too 
That's how we do it. We need to be, you know, from both sides. Yet I said all of it for it. So we are very naive as well. From young side, it's, oh, I'm not my back and talk about it. It should never be the case. Well, whatever knowledge they have, based on that, we should appreciate what they have. We are lucky to have access to those kind of knowledge. They never had it. Mm. So I think about the actually I think our kids will be very very um, future will be better. To them. I think yeah. of course yeah. we, we both ways yeah. we both ways. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. They keep telling me they oh balagan. Well, here we go. We're doing the same thing, man. Yes. We're doing the yes. same thing. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, they're not learning. It's true. It's true. Okay, um, Ibrahim, can I? Uh, I'm not finished with it, your mom. Yes. Can I? <laughs> you, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Fine. I was going to ask you, um, Afneto. Um, you had awards yourself, you achieved few, mm. few of the things. Can you like to highlight them if you don't mind? Tell yes, us. Yes, uh, I won my first award, uh, Channel S Award in 2013. That was a surprise award uh, for, um, it was recognizing my work. I can't remember the name of it now. Special Acknowledgement Award. Yeah, special, award. special Acknowledgement Award. Uh, and then I went on to win a British Muslim Award for Arts and Cultural Awareness in 2015. So again, that was a, a surprise award. And uh, um, I think, I saw in your Facebook this year you one of your brothers getting something like that, isn't oh, he's it? Been isn't uh, it something like that? Yeah, he's been mm. shortlisted for uh, British Muslim Awards for science and okay. services to science and technology. And yeah, and engineering. Yes, yes and engineering. So we're yeah. hoping that if they both win, then uh, that will complete it. Wow. We've all got one each. Wow. So, uh, but he's worked very hard to uh, you know to where he's got to, and I think um, there aren't uh, there are very few. Uh, uh, British Bangladeshis who actually uh, he's an associate professor at the University of uh, Leicester and he, he um, he's a lecturer as well um, but I think where he came from it was um, he worked his way up and uh, okay. he worked very very hard and we were all very proud of him. Brilliant. Yeah. Can I ask you to mm. someone to read one of the poem of... Um, Do you want to read it? I think okay. Abraham's a good reader. Go yes, I think uh, Amina will be very happy. Just yeah. pass it to yes, okay. here you go. Okay. Great. Mm, which one shall I... We'll be very, I'm sure she'll be very happy one. to do it. <laughs> They're all very short and sweet. So I think we need one yeah. that's maybe appropriate She's the for one the time yeah. to yeah. year that we have. Which was the one that she wrote? Did she write one in uh, here? That was... Got a uh, lot of time, so okay, you have a look at... Let me, uh, uh, in the <laughs> yes, meantime, okay. I ask something else. I'm okay, not sure what I'm not writing. I'm not... How did you help her? Did you encourage her to do it or you support her? Uh, no, I mean, they didn't help us, you know, not at all. Helping in their money emotionally, that's what uh, I'm saying. Emotionally, oh, yes. Well um, her money, um, she did it at school. They, they wrote poetry and then uh, uh, she just said to me once, um, I really like poems, I like reading poems. And she's the only one that, who enjoys going to libraries. I take her to the library sometimes, we get books. and uh, I think the boys are sort of grown out of that. Um, but she just enjoys writing. Um, just The words just come out of her, really. So I think... Again, you can't teach someone to write. It has to sort of come from within. And uh, um, I think she's going to go on and write many more poems. But they're, they're all meaningful. They all have some... How old is she? Uh, and, um, she's, she's 13. 13. 13. Yeah. Oh, let's see the 13's mind then, how he works, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, this poem's called Rainbow. The rainbow speaks so softly, yet it explains. My colours are only shown after sun and rain. When a rainbow appears... All we do is look up and stare. She is willing to show her colours everywhere. She is beautiful. She glistens in the light. The skies above are always lovely and bright. Looking towards the clear sky, the tears of depression gradually dry. She is like a waterfall, only a lot more fascinating. She sits there, looks down and begins waiting. She waits to fade away and come back another time when the rain drops and the sun shines. Wow. Amazing, 13 yeah. years old, and mashallah, it's, it makes it so, you know, um, wow, amazing, man. Something is in your gene, I don't know what it is, man, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'll give it back to you, I'll take it on afterwards. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you. Anything special from that you want to mention? Um, um, anything special I want to mention? Um, well, I just want you to know, encourage... Like uh, emotionally, something really um, made you cry, well, or in the, you know, really down, that you yes, felt Yes, hearing the stories of these men, because... Can you pick up one story with the facts? Yes, one story is um, my main character is called Ayan Mia and he works on a steamship and he's beaten by uh, the, the English captain. And um, it made me realise uh, 
the difficulties that these men faced, the brutality that they faced, uh, just so they could have a better life. And they had it very hard. And I think it, it's, it's very sad to, um, that these men have not been recognised the, the way that they should be. And that's why I dedicated my book to the Sileti seamen, because they shouldn't be forgotten for the work that they did. And it, we shouldn't forget our, uh, our identity and you know where they came from. And I think it's very, very important to remember our history. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Rembai, is there young people are watching, they want to get involved with um, stuff you are doing. So is there any projects, is there any, uh, what are the opportunities like outside, man? Is there, if people want to make money in that field, they want to make a career out of this? Right, well, I have to say that the work I've done so far has all been on a voluntary basis, but I think that is how you have to start off. You have to build a portfolio. So you know, that, those are the things that I've done over these last five years, and I think if for anyone who else who wants to get into that field, it may be that you have to start the same way. You know, that is how the industry is. It is very competitive. There are so many people that want to get into this field. They all want to, um, you know, you know if, whether it's going on TV, going on the radio, you know, writing for newspapers and things like that. You've just got to build up that experience. So, you know, just building these contacts and you know, going to events perhaps and, you know, just trying to find people who is are Is there a lot of courses around, like, or is there a lot of, how do you want to find about courses and, 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 and all people? involved? How, what do you do? You go to Facebook, you go to Twitter, what do you do? There are courses available. In fact, I did a course very recently at the Cambridge TV School um, from October to December last year. So that was a really good course where I learned about TV and video production. So we learned how to operate a TV camera, uh, learning about lighting techniques, uh, interviewing contributors, and learning how to present in a studio, a bit like what you're doing right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, we learned all these things and uh, it was really good because uh, it was quite intense as well. But the best thing is that the only way I feel that you can get, in the, get far in this industry is, you ha like I said, you have to have a portfolio. So the best way to do things is by, um, you know, by doing things. You have to, you know, it's not just about reading a book and then, oh, that's it, I've got it in my head. You actually have to apply that knowledge. And if you do that, then and you, and you can show to someone, oh, this is what I got on my CV, I did this, I made this program, I did this show, or, or you know, anything where you've got your name attached to it, then that will help you going forward. Inshallah. But you've been, you, you, your case is different. You want to do it and you're doing volunteer and all that stuff. But some people will say, I want to do the trainings, I want to get paid. Is, is there a possibility? Is there anything like that? Yeah, like I said, I mean, so once you've built this portfolio, of course, and uh, you can show that to other employers. So, of course, you know, you, you eventually, you know, you're, you're building all this because you want to get a paid job out of it. So that's the aim, really, to show that, look, I've got all this experience. This is what I've done. You know, you know please hire me. You know, that's the, that's the idea, really. So... I mean, there are production companies who actually uh, run courses, so um, that they can be easily found in your local area, um, and uh, you know everyone is offering them. And I think it's a good way of learning because it's uh, about learning a skill and then applying it. Mm. But what I've um, seen is that from the people that um, some of the tutors that we worked with uh, in the school, they a lot of them had to start up from the bottom, so they might have done other sort of other smaller tasks like being a runner, a production runner. So it might be like working as, as an assistant. So you have to work from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then once you've gained that experience, that's the best you way. work You learn it all the way. So you really have you to graft. That's, that's great. Um, where do you s see yourself in the next five years? Do you have a plan? What's your dream then? <laughs> it's like uh, when you go for a job interview and they ask <laughs> you, what are you going to do in five years' time? But uh, um, I don't know. It's just, I think, at the moment, what I'm doing right now, I just want to try and carry that on in the hope that it leads to something permanent and hopefully something full-time in, uh, in something that I enjoy doing. So whether that's in journalism, whether that's you know, in TV production, radio production, and then you know, so be it. But in, in, in five years' time, do you see yourself making movies or do you self, you know? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's really hard to say. I, I couldn't yeah. tell you because that's why I've done all these different things because I just want to see what it's like. And at least then I can say, okay, I've done this, I've done that. The next right. one and Z and then your last minute happen. to our viewers say something to our young people are watching encourage them in your work basically what I just said to <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Yeah. so um, I guess <coughs> going back to when we talked about Huffington Post um, you know so I guess what it shows you know I don't have any media qualifications as such you know I come from a computer science background but the reason why I'm involved in media is because I have a passion for it you know these are things that I've enjoyed doing from a young age, and I just wanted to pursue that. So, you know, Alhamdulillah, I feel that, um, you know, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, but still a long way to go, of course, and 
you know, um, it's all down to working hard and as long as you have the right mindset for it and the right attitude, Fantastic. then eventually you'll go far. Brilliant. Ahmad, uh, just 50 seconds to say to our viewers. For all those uh, people who want to become a writer, uh, just go and do it. You know, if it's your passion, go out and make your voices heard. And I think, you know, enjoy it. That's the main thing. And if you want to get in touch with us, please do. We're, we're happy to uh, advise you in any way that we can. Brilliant. Um, both of you guys are fantastic. Thank you for your time Thank today. You. I really Thank enjoyed you for it. Having us. সম্মানিত ভাই বোনেরা আসলে আমরা অনেক কিছু আসলে শিখছি আমরা আসলে সবসময় কমপ্লেন করি যে আমাদের বাচ্চারা আসলে রোল মডেল নাই আমাদের বাচ্চাদের আসলে হেল্প করে না যেটা তারা ফাওয়ার আসলে এটা ইস ট্রু ইন এ সেন্স বাট উই হ্যাভ টু স্টার্ট ফ্রম সামওয়ের আমরা আই হ্যাভ লার্ন সো ইন ফান্টাসি থিং টুডে ইজ লাইক ইউ নো মাদার এন্ড সান টুগেদার অ্যান্ড দে আর সো প্রাউড অ্যাকচুয়ালি দে বোথ অফ দেম আইডেন্টিক অনেস্টলি দে আর টিভি প্রেজেন্টেস দে হ্যাভ রাইটিস they mm -hmm. are um, campaigners they are almost identical in but I'm, I'm, really, I'm, really not, I'm not techy and he is yeah. okay. okay that's the only difference <laughs> yeah. if i would have asked you to ask you um the, the one person you would name as your role model would you say what who, who would you say no I'd, i'll definitely say my mother yeah Oh, I should ask you I knew it man <laughs> <laughs> I mean knew it so amra the one kitchen bul khane takki dia kore maaf kore deben jara jara phone korchen dhonnobad phone er jonno ar agam shapta dekhabo inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh